always been fascinated in gemstones. And my grandmother was a forager, so we used to go out into the forest and I would find rocks and stones to bring back. My mother had a really beautiful collection of jewelry, a lot of gemstone-based jewelry, and I used to admire it and like try to figure out how it was made. Frenzy, can you go lay down? <laughs> Let me do that again. Hi, I'm Jolie Chandler. I'm a metalsmith, and today we're in my home studio. I live in the Bronzeville neighborhood of Chicago, and this is where I work on Soma Gems. Welcome in. This is where I do all of the magic. I think we all have rituals that kind of bring us home and make us feel centered. For me, it's really like bringing myself mentally in a space to be able to connect uh, with the pieces. For centuries, gemstones have been prized by civilizations all across the world for their metaphysical properties. I specifically select my pieces for myself and as gifts or even for my customers, kind of based on the energy that they're looking for. Soma Gems is a spiritually aligned jewelry collection. Soma really just means the body in Greek. Soma Gems, gems for your body. I call myself a metalsmith and a jeweler. I've been doing it professionally for about four years. I do sketch out my designs. Being a part of this L1 cohort is super special to me. I grew up in South Shore, so I have a pretty strong connection to Hyde Park. So I thought it was very cool that it was in partnership with U Chicago. I'm grateful because it seems like this is the perfect opportunity for me to learn and grow and work to further establish my brand. Sometimes it's nice to just like take a moment and like really spend the time like making sure that you feel like the piece is good to go. It's all a labor of love for sure. Obviously the most beneficial thing that I've gained has been the retail space. This is the first retail location that I've been in. So that has been really a, a fascinating opportunity to work in partnership with the other fellows and create a space that marries our brands together in a way that's still unique, uh, but also is like has a synergy to it. I've also really enjoyed the mentorship as well as uh, just different introductions that have been made along the way. To me, being on the arts block is really important. It's a part of my community as well. I think it's a really beautiful space, not only the L1 store, but the arts lawn, the performing arts center, and the arts incubator. It's like a little community of art, which is has the intention of bringing folks from that community together. With the support of L1, I see my business growing. Having the information and data that we're getting from being in the L1 store really helps me to get a bird's eye view of what my business and my brand is doing in real time. We're on our way to the photo shoot. Let's get going. Maybe these earrings with this and then this ring here. Like I said, I wanna try to get as many pieces in one photo as possible. Um, so you can showcase multiple ones. My vision for the photo shoot is to capture my brand as a whole. It's gonna feature uh, the different collections. It's gonna have a lot of crystals, a lot of natural stone, and some nice backdrops to highlight and showcase the pieces that I'm working on right now. I didn't really even consider myself an artist in, until recently. Now that I'm settling into this like definition and being of an artist. I'm really trying to plan things, make collections and pieces that can be loved in unison and together. I'm excited. Everything looks so beautiful. The day is finally over. <laughs> it was very long and very amazing. So I'm super excited to see the finished products because everything is gonna look bomb.
in the same way that my mother has passed on some of her collection to me, I hope that you know people love my pieces and can keep them in their family or can bring joy by sharing them um, or letting someone know like, hey, I was thinking of you and I got you this.